One of the founding members of the Grateful Dead performed tonight at Skull and Roses. Grateful Dead bassist Phil Lesh and friends headline the festival tonight at the Ventura County Fairgrounds, and he'll be back again to headline tomorrow night, too. The Dead performed almost a dozen shows at those fairgrounds by the beach in the 1980s. Skull and Roses is proof that their music has stood the test of time almost three decades since Jerry Garcia's death, and a local band also performed today. Santa Barbara-based No Simple Highway took the stage at Skull and Roses as a rainbow filled the sky. Dreams do come true, people. You know it. The revolving stage means the music never stops. The festival features interpretations of Grateful Dead music, plus a shakedown street of merchandise. Dead fans from all over are thrilled. Grateful Dead founding member Phil Lesh is headlining back-to-back -back nights. Phil is a hero of mine, so I'm looking forward to, uh, to seeing him play. Some of Jerry Garcia's relatives came out and photographer Susanna Millman recalled Garcia walking her down the aisle when she married Dead publicist Dennis McNally. Jerry was kind of an instrumental matchmaker for me and Dennis, and uh, and I mean, of course, Jerry to me is just, you know, is, is just, is just a total hero. She also made sure her booth paid tribute to Earth Day. The show is creating new generations of fans with kids 12 and under getting in free. We love Grateful Dead so much. We lis listen to Grateful Dead almost every day, and uh, for for it to be free is is, is wonderful. Skull and Roses wraps up on Sunday evening. And those tickets are available at the fairgrounds if there are any left. And you'll also find a link to ticket information on our mobile app and website. Sean, that beautiful shot, really nice. can you explain it? I know you called it not yeah, a rainbow. The, well, it's the cirrus clouds that are really high up in elevation, a lot of wind way up there, and it's blowing those ice crystals around. So the light, the white light that we can only see hits it, and it gets split into the rainbow colors because uh, the light's moving so quickly. So a lot like a, a rainbow, but there, I guarantee there's probably no rain up there. It's just uh, frozen <laughs> ice cubes. Uh, kind of like if you have a CD or a DVD and you look at it and you can see the little rainbow. It's Beautiful. basically splitting the light, that's all.